Welcome back to Cardine's Field and the NECBL Broadcast Network. I am Tim Scott, and today I'm joined by the voice of the Laconia Muskrats, Patrick Cavanaugh, who's here today to talk about his experience, the Muskrats this season, and all of the above, essentially. So, Pat, how'd you get involved with the Laconia Muskrats? You know, Tim, it all started back in 2011 when I emailed my demo tape to Muskrats general manager Noah Crane, and it's all worked out perfectly since then. Spent one season shadowing Casey Williams, Muskrat's former play-by-play -play announcer. Since then, starting last season, I took on the full play-by-play -play responsibilities myself. And this season, we're a great season, sitting 20-20 and 20 coming into tonight's game. So you guys had a great doubleheader win last night against the, the Mystic Schooners at Mystic. How was that like? It's a long day, Tim, I'll tell you that. The Muskrats played a regulation seven-inning game one of the doubleheader, but that second game of that doubleheader ran 11 innings long after just the scheduled seven. So a doubleheader, two days in a row, one of them spanning into 11 innings. It's been a past, long past couple of days for Laconia. So what do you think the strengths are of the Muskrats this year, hitting or defense or pitching? You know, Tim, they've really meshed together. When they work, they do mesh together. When the hitting is there, the pitching seems to be doing very nicely as well. For instance, last night, Jay Carmichael came out. Beginning of the game, Muskrats were the home team. And didn't look too well, but once his bats came to the plate, got some run support behind him, he came back and really si seemed to find his groove. So when the hitting's there, the pitching is there, and vice versa. So you guys are in the midst of a very tight postseason chase with the Keene Swamp Bats and North Adams Steeplecats right now. What do you think the Muskrats need to do in these next three days? Muskrats just to keep need to keep continuing doing what they have been doing as of late, and that is winning. Plain and simple, the Muskrats taking sole third place for the moment. A win tonight puts them in the playoffs or a Keene or North Adams loss. So you guys moved here from the Southern Division to the North, or the Eastern Division rather, to the Northern Division. How has the change in the divisional competition been for you guys this year? There hasn't been too many changes. However, Newport is the biggest one. We only see the Gulls one, t one time at home and one time on the road. So again, a total of two times in a season. And I think that is kind of demolished a rivalry that the Muskrats and Gulls used to have. Very interesting. What is your favorite ballpark to travel to in the NECBL? I would have to say Cardine's Field has to be number one. A close number two is Goodall Park in Sanford, Maine. Two beautiful ballparks, historic ballparks. Yeah, Cardine's Field was built in 1908. Goodall Park built in the 1900s as well. Very solid indeed. So the Muskrats close to the playoffs. What do you think they can do against either team that's in contention right now? Well, if the season were to end today, the Muskrats would be taking on the Sanford Mainers. And the Muskrats, in my opinion, can beat the Mainers. They have before. As of late, they've struggled against them. The Mainers have some of the best pitchers in all of the league. So when the Muskrats are there, as I mentioned, playing, really meshing together as a team, they can beat them. Yeah, what are you looking forward to for the rest of the season, especially the playoffs or the regular season? Well, the Muskrats' bats have been hot as of late. It's been nice to see some of the players who don't have the best averages really starting to step up to the plate. For instance, Jack Sunberg, who's been in the lineup as of late, is really starting to produce offensively. And it's always nice to see those players who haven't really found a groove settle in in the, past, in the last couple of games when it matters most. Thanks, Pat. This has been Tim Scott with Goals Insider. Now we're going to go coming up next here on the NECBL Broadcast Network. <laughs> 